a root down there. It is hard. That's just where there's dry ground. I think it's just the dirt's just so hard. Welcome back to Country View Acres. Um, last week we tried to drill some holes here in the barnyard for fence posts and the ground was way too hard. We did get some rain and we did put buckets of water in there to hopefully soak into the ground, make it easier to drill. Um, we've drilled our first hole and we got quite a ways down but then it's still pretty dry at the bottom. But we're gonna see how far we can get with getting these fence posts drilled and getting a fence in. I think he's giving you pointers or he's is that what he is making fun of you is this my supervisor yeah Rebecca said the turkey <laughs> came at her kicking the other day yeah maybe I'm waiting for him to try to do that to me so last week I came out to put the animals up by myself and this Tom right here decided to go all kung fu on me. He did this kung fu turkey chop, that's how I describe it, because he did this spinning kick and kicked me right in the side, left a bruise. I had to throw some walnuts at his head until I got far enough away that I could get a shovel to protect myself. <laughs> Anyways, me and him are arch nemesis now. That's why she's carrying a shovel with her right now. That's it's not right. to really dig the hole, <laughs> it's for the turkey. It's for protection, <laughs> I have to have protection. Man, that just sounds like you're hitting rocks. And it's not, it's just very hard, dry dirt. So we put water in this hole probably three times and it's rained twice. And it is still completely dry. We're about two feet down, it's completely dry down there. Hard as a rock. Well, we probably got another six to 12 inches to go. We'll go ahead and add some water to this one and then we'll try that one, see if we can get it to drill. Man, that's hard as a rock. All right, finally got that hole at least three feet deep. We'll move back over to the other one we filled with water. Sure to be a muddy mess, but hopefully we can get it dug deep enough. Well, I give up. It's as deep as it's gonna get today. And I was afraid that was gonna happen. Your face is covered. I know, I got mud all over my face. That's a tall post. Can, can you even, do I have mud on my face? Just a little bit? Yeah. <clears throat> can you see it? I can't see it. I'm, you're putting it in my face. I'm, I'm like <laughs> far-sighted. I can't see that close. <laughs> we'll go ahead and put the dirt back in the hole, but this is not, can you hear that? It is not gonna pack down. Well, this is so sloppy that this post is never gonna firm up. So I'm gonna try to pull the post back out. Now that the water is all mixed with the dirt, we're gonna auger it back out again. And then we'll probably use gravel. We'll just put gravel directly in here and um, that ought to at least set the post where it's nice and firm. Look at that, I can pull it right out. Whoa! 
It got deeper. Oh, what? that's probably about the right height. All right, we got that post put in. The gravel was much better than the mud. It's a lot more firm. So we got one more post to put in and then we're building a fence along here and we're building like a fence line feeder. We're gonna put a trough over here for the steers to eat. We'll probably put their water trough over here as well. And then we can be on this side of the fence and be able to fill up their water and their feed. And um, I think it's gonna make it a lot nicer. Plus we're making a divider to separate the small animals on this side from the big animals. It's something I've had planned for a while, just finally getting around to it. All right, we got all our posts in now, so we're gonna start building this fence. This is gonna be a wooden fence. We're gonna put boards, I don't know, four or five boards down this, and we're gonna put them on this side, which is the same side the steers will be on. We're gonna go to the top. Get my level out. That actually looks really good right there. We're building this fence out of some leftover material. I found these two bites. They've been laying outside and we're gonna use those. And the posts were left over from building the fence this spring. So everything we're using has been uh, extra leftover material. We only had two of these two by eights. Decided to put them on top because I thought that was the best chance of a steer pushing on them. The rest of them are gonna be two by sixes. Trying to make sure our, our ends are nice and square because we're gonna butt them together here. We didn't have any more boards that were long enough to reach the 16 foot length here. All right, the fence is all built and we may come back later and cut the tops of these posts off so it looks like the first one up there so everything's nice and even. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna build a feed trough. We're gonna try to put a feed trough here at this end. And then after that's built, we're gonna put their water trough over here. And we'll probably actually have to dig out a spot or level out a spot for the water trough to actually sit. Where do you want it? I thought I'd put it right there. What do you think? All right, we cut a food grade barrel in half. We cut most of the bottom out so that when we butt these next to each other, it's almost like one trough. Just gonna start getting it mounted.
So now we're just gonna put some feet on here, some legs to help hold it up. We're just gonna dig out a spot for those to go. Well, I think the only thing left to do is drill a few holes in the barrels so it'll drain water. But I think, I think it's sturdy enough. It's definitely sturdy enough to hold my weight. So I think it'll hold up to the steers. What's the matter? Well, you should never lay your tools down around goats. Now this, this hammer wasn't perfect, but this is definitely fresh. This is fresh chewed on by the goats. So actually one goat, <laughs> one goat. Yes. <laughs> Jewel, our new problem child, Jewel was chewing on this. She was trying to chew on the box of screws. She was just trying to chew on everything. So be aware where you put your stuff near goats. All right, we're going to level this up. A spot here for the water trough. We decided instead of digging a spot level, we just build it up with gravel. Since we have gravel. Side to side. too bad. Now you just want me to throw the rest of the gravel in front? Yeah, or around and wherever, yeah. How big you boys are. Yeah. Oh, come on. Let me, let me bet you. Come on. You don't mind, do you? No, you don't mind. I know. I think you're so hungry you're trying to eat my fingers. Aren't you? You're not starving. I can tell by looking at you. You're big and beefy. Yes, you are. Big and beefy. We got done just in time. The sun's going down, so we got to get the steers moved. They're definitely hungry, so they should come running for a bucket of feed. All right, we're going to put the turkeys up before we move the steers over. Just make everything easier. See how the tom stays between me and the girls? He's definitely acting as a protector, that's for sure. Which, that's how he should act. Come on. There you go, into your pen. All right, boys. All 
All right, we're not using any ropes this time. Hey, you've got to get their attention. Here. Come on, Oreo. Come on. That is not what I want. <laughs> They're getting feisty. No. Well, they ran right over to their All other right, field. Come on. What are you doing? Come on. Here. There you go. There you go. See if you can eat out of there. All right, we just put up a couple stock panels. Normally we had four across here to keep the steers out of this side. Now we've just got two. Later on, we might be able to put a gate across here to that fence to replace these stock panels, but that is not gonna be today. At least the steers are moved back over here. They got water, they got feed, they got a bale of hay, and they actually have the back of this barn, which is a shelter for them. Um, so. They ran out of grass on the other side, so it's nice to have them back over here where they got a little bit more room and some of the grass has actually grown back. So at least maybe they'll have something they can graze on over here. Well guys, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. We tried to do this last week and failed. Too dry, we only got the posts to drill down maybe 12 inches, if that. Um, and we were soaking them all week long and still barely got them drilled today to build this fence. But at least it's built. We got the bunk feeder, the fence line bunk, fe bunk feeder built. The steers, we can feed them over here now, so that's good. We were wanting to move them over here last week, and we finally got it done today because there's definitely more forage out here for them. But uh, this is just one step in trying to redesign the barnyard. We got the fence going across here. Hopefully we can put a gate across here at some point in time. And then I want to put another set of gates on the far end so that I can actually drive in with the tractor from that side instead of having to drive through this barnyard over here but yeah trying to change things a little bit make it a little bit more easier to get in here and maintain maintain everything with the tractor and this is just one piece of the puzzle to get in there but i think that's going to be it for today's video guys so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one